Hello, I'm the Red Monk, and today, this is the third episode of Virtual Bust. Virtual Bust, episode three. We all love comedy, and this episode is about a comedic cat. A comedic cat. And this cat's name is Garfield, and he represents the evilness of nature. And he is in these newspaper comic strips. And it is a psyche for his counterpart, John Arbuckle, which is his owner. And this is the nature of the universe, how Garfield and John Arbuckle appear in this comic book series, Garfield. So let's discuss it on the third episode of Virtual Bus, The Comedic Cat. Our first strip here, okay, is a Christmas strip. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, it says. You tricked me. There's nothing in this present, says Garfield. You promised me you wouldn't peek, John Arbuckle responds. That's what you get for peeking. Garfield looks as John Bark Arbuckle trots away in pride. Garfield is by himself now, looking to heaven. Well, thanks for nothing. He knew he was going to cheat, so he fucked him over. John Arbuckle really outplayed that feline. Really fucking showed him. Today... I'm going to go with the flow. You know, where sticks in a stream, he's going with the flow. You know, just rolling with it. Come on, world. Whatever happens, happens. That is, if you can find me. Because he sits in his chair all day. Notice he never speaks. These are only thoughts. What <laughs> order strip you can tell? Garfield has changed over time. The the older the younger he was, the more he looked like a fucking turd. Old Garfield is uh like hunched, perched, statuesque. Like such But if he stands up, like he's bipedal. That means it's a newer version. But like At like first, the forerunners of Garfield look like fucking that. Oh boy, oh boy, today's Thursday. And that's Lasaga Day. Cat food in a dish with his name on it. Ooh! Bust! He nigga just. He got. He got John R. Buckle. Bent him over. Spreads his cheeks and just fuck his ass. Getting back shotted. Get fucking back shotted, my guy. Bust. That's such we fucking do here. Bust. I take no pleasure in kicking Odie. Boot. That's what we call a spinning heel kick. I do, however, enjoy watching him claw at the air on his way down. It's almost like... See, this is... Wow. These niggas just fuck each other over. For the fuck of it. It is time to kick Odie off the table. Dude, dude, first, you, yeah, Garf, I says, I'm, I told you he was straight. So she starts by fucking back shot and John Arbuckle to the ethereal realm with just Matrix juice and cum. <laughs> he gets fucking bitches coming up to him. And notice how it's a mice. That bitch is prey. That bitch is prey. Because it's a mice and a cat. Wow. Does that say a statement on me? Uh, 
Cupcake, coming in from the right, Garfield is shocked. Plant sat down, Garfield continues to stare. Happy birthday, big guy. I'm not eating that. Now he's fucking busting this bitch's jaws. Damn, my guy. He fucks on the consist. What the fuck is a woman, man? Like, what the fuck, dude? Think that there's half of people who live in a different fucking reality? Damn. Tell me about your feelings, John. She's got fucking bust. Is that probably a solid fucking C cup? My what? Feelings, um. So I pretend to fate. He thinks. That's a conversation stopper. Okay. Blah. Bust! We've had three busts on episode three. Bust! This represents society and sexuality. Okay, so he rules it, pats it, makes a firm erection. And then hides it in the fucking hole. The fourth bust. I, I, I wanted three and only three busts for episode three of Virtual Busts. This is the fourth bust. The, f the first bust was when he wanted La Saga. The second bust is when he fucked that bitch. The third bust is the depiction of femininity with the bust. This is the fourth bust where he's making erections and sticking it in places. Virtual. This is what I'm. People are like, what the fuck does virtual bust mean? Virtual, like it's in the Matrix, it's not reality. Right now, I'm talking to you through the virtual. And the bust is the subject, it's the filter, my guy. This is the bust filter. He's on his consumeristic. Lisa Dingleball.com I don't turn no classic classic I can't believe how cultured this cuck is obviously rep representing the duality of a man how he thinks therefore he is the transition from the second panel of life to the third panel of life is when you become aware of your inner demons and how they own your literal penis represented as a pipe. But did you know the same day? The same day, but on a different newspaper, he had two different strips out and the, the second script was this. So, one newspaper printed this, the infamous, the infamous pipe strip in a different company, a different corporation, with a different newspaper print who also had a, a contract with Jim Davis, printed this, same day. I think it was a Sunday. Because nicotine is dangerous for cats. He gives him the vape back. Because that, that'll kill him. And he fucking still takes it. He's like, this is the fucking fifth bust. Bust. I actually don't like this one. This is like a uh, 13th image. I'm a turtle. But not a very good one. Now, what does it mean? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Is good living up to expectations? Even if you exceed your expectations, you didn't 
Get in the expectation of turn duality. What could it be? Bast. So, yes. I want to thank you in our color. Okay. We today on the third episode of Virtual Bust We talked about a comedic pussy with bust representing the duality of man. Like, comment, summer. Uh, bust.